up. Let's just go ASA starting with version 7. There is a command called auto update which updates the ASA device and there are several parameters. First one is going to be the device ID. So if we type device dash ID and then question mark then this is uh, you have several options here to identify to the auto update server any way that you want this particular ASA to be identified. So you could do it as the hardware serial number, the host name, the IP address, any one of these different options will tell the auto update server who you are to allow it to update it or if it doesn't make have a match then it will not. Our next parameter is going to be the poll at and the poll at basically allows us to say when we want the auto update request to happen. So first thing we can do is we can type in a, a day of the week and we can type in a time and at Sunday at 1 a.m. every week we will have a poll to see if there is an update at the update server. And our next command is going to be the polling period. So the poll period we can put in something such as 360 for the amount of minutes, uh, that's how many min uh, minutes that it looks for the updates. Then the next thing we can say is how many times we want it to look and if it can't find it, what's our timeout period and we'll say three minutes. So that's another option that we have and our auto update server is where you would put a URL of the auto update server itself so we'll just call it ciscoupdate.com which is not the correct one but this is just for uh, just example purposes uh, and then the last one is the timeout now the timeout tells us when to give up on trying to find an update and we'll just say after 1440 minutes